What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of how to completely tear apart your Jeep and hopefully fix it forever. Got my buddy Austin in here helping me out. Awesome. We are stripping down everything that's in here. We're going to Raptor coat it and then uh, we're going to do the sound deadener with the heat shield. Carpet showing up, Raptor coat showing up. This guy's got me spending a ton of money on all sorts of parts, but uh, we're really cooking through it. So the smell of rat pee is slowly coming out. The floors are starting to look pretty good. We got to lightly scuff everything so this Raptor coat will stick. Using a sandable right here. It's a sandable self-fetching primer in the spots where if you do get down to bare metal, that's something you got to watch out for. I got my buddy Austin here. He's roped into learning how to work in a tiny garage full of crap that disappears all the time. But I'm gonna put the camera up. We're gonna get to work. We got a lot of work to do. We got the heater jamming. So I'm gonna do some layover music on that because we got a heater. I want the radio on and we'll be good to go. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll get back to you in a bit. What we did was a light sanding on everything, just enough to knock the, the top of it off. So it's got a nice base for the Raptor coat to adhere to. A regular scotch Bright pad does the job. Vacuumed everything out. We wiped everything down with acetone. We're gonna use a tack cloth on it to get it one last time. It hardens pretty quick. We're not gonna spray it, we are gonna roll it. So we're gonna do the rear first and then work our way up and do you know passenger side driver side that way the uh, raptor coat doesn't harden up too fast on us so we can really work it in this isn't a project where we're going to strip everything down to bare metal we just want something that's going to protect what is here from rusting 
eventually. So we're gonna put the camera up, mix up the Raptor coat, start rolling. Screw. If yours doesn't come with a white cup, the ounces is eight fluid ounces you need to add of hardener into the Raptor liner because a couple kits didn't come with the cups. Okay, we're gonna get high as a kite. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's find out. Ooh. Yeah. I guess we go where we can Just reach we instead can of right here and we can Oh yeah, yeah, reach out. What's going on everybody? Uh, it is the next morning. I'm currently editing this video right now, but I wanted to come out because I forgot to film a, a whole walkthrough of everything that's been painted so far. Uh, got to be just a little too late, so. But yeah, here it is. I had the heater jamming on it all night to really kind of keep the temperatures because it's like uh, 20 degrees outside. So I wanted to keep the inside of the Jeep nice and warm, so I let the heater run, but as you can see it looks really really good uh, there are a couple spots I still got to touch up some of the hard to reach spots but the base is down I got two coats down on it looks really solid we want to extra heavy on the back corners and all the low spots where any kind of water can really kind of accumulate if I do like a deep creek crossing or something like that So we got her in there real good. So you might be wondering, oh, well, you know, like right there, how come you didn't do up there or how come you didn't do all the way up the sides? I really just wanted to do this project to make sure that the main areas of the floor, in case, like I said, if I go through any kind of deep water, water comes in, it's gonna be on the carpet, you know, and if it sits for too long, you start building up rust. Uh, we all know the Jeeps are known for rusting out. So with the floors being as good as they were, I wanted to make sure they were all protected. So if water does get in, I mean, worst case, I pull the carpet out and we're good. I don't have to worry about water settling in here 
and just starting to eat the rust, you know, starting to rust out and eat everything alive. Now, the cool thing is when I first did this Jeep from the bottom up, I sprayed it with chassis saver and Raptor coat to make sure that it's all protected from down there. So this way here, the inside is now protected. So this will have to sit for like two or three days to it to fully cure. And then from there, we're gonna lay down the sound deadener heat mat. And then right down here, a box of carpets here. And it's also got the, the backing on it to help with heat because I don't know if you guys know, but mine especially, I get a lot of heat coming through around the transmission tunnel and then down through the side where the exhaust is. So anything I can do to help eliminate that is gonna help out a lot. Cause I just, I hate driving down the road and you just feel all that heat blowing it. But yeah, the project turned out really good. Super happy with it. Uh, can't wait for this stuff to really kind of fully cure in. And then I can lay down that uh, heat mat sound deadener and then start tossing the interior back in. Um, that'll do it for like the inside project on, on really, you know, protecting this from, from future rust. But anything I can do to prolong it is, uh, was my goal for this. After that, we've got to fix the exhaust because I've got some, uh, some hanger mounts that they broke on me. Um, so I got to fix those. And then I also want to do something with the transmission cross member because the cross member bolts in really weird. It's got like studs that go through and I want to change that to a much bigger bolt. So that'll probably be another project I'm going to tackle for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure you click it and uh, also turn on your notifications. But yeah, that's going to do it. Have a good one. See you in the next video.